Pianos for People is a program that teaches people of all ages how to play. Joining us with more about the program is director Kaya Baker and lead teacher Hannah Harum. Ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank us. you. Okay, so tell us a little bit of back, a little bit of background information on Pianos for People for those who are not familiar with with you guys. How long have you been around, and where are you located? We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was started in 2012 with the primary mission of getting pianos and giving them to people that could not afford them. Pianos were being thrown away and so the founders, Tom Townsend, Pat Eastman, Joe Jackson got together and thought well, what be, it would be great if we could rescue these pianos yeah. and give them to people that really wanted one. Wow, that's and, really sad to think that mm -hmm. someone would throw away a musical instrument, especially a piano. I mean, it's right. the biggest one out there, right? Yeah, um, yeah, but I mean, really good pianos were just literally being thrown away. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so why pianos? And do you guys work with other musical instruments? Piano is basically our focus, the, the acoustic piano. Um, I think piano because the founders of their passion. Mm -hmm. Tom is a piano enthusiast. Pat Eastman is a professor at Webster University and St. Louis University in their music department as a piano teacher. And Joe Jackson has a piano shop where he restores and sells pianos. So I think the three of them coming together, mm. you know, basically is what, you know, their focus is the piano. And so that's how this evolved. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. Hannah, let's talk about, uh, you know, you're a lead teacher. Let's talk a little bit about what you do. Yeah, so we actually have two locations. Um, our primary location, the original location, is on Cherokee Street mm -hmm. um, in the Cherokee Arts District. Nice. Um, and we service basically the community around that area. However, I am focused and based over in Ferguson. So we recently expanded into the Ferguson area thanks to some amazing contributors, the Siteman Family Foundation, Emerson Charitable Trust. And we meet inside of the First Baptist Church of Ferguson. Um, we're there three days a week. And so right now we actually have um, about 60 enrollments over there, which is really, really fun. Um, and so my role there is essentially um, coordinating lessons, teaching lessons, group classes. Um, and you asked earlier about piano, why piano? And I think one of the things is it's actually a form of expression. Yeah. And so many kids and young people today, um, even though we work with all ages, need that form of expression in mm -hmm. their lives. Okay, mm -hmm. we're looking so. at some pictures of them right now. Yeah. Is there an age or an income requirement to take part in the program? Well, you can be, we have music programs for as young as age four. Mm -hmm. And regarding the income, our goal is to serve those that cannot afford it. Okay. That is based on a need. So we will look at your entire situation and make that determination. Okay, so it's okay. not just, you it's know, not a hard, hard and fast, fast rule. rule. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know people's lives are crazy and mm -hmm. we know things happen. Mm -hmm. And okay. so we want to be able to meet people right where they're at. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you said, I mean, the, the concept came from, you know, giving these pianos a home and, and, and working with people. Right. You know, if someone is watching right now and they, they want to donate, um, you know, how, how can they get involved? Uh, if you would like to donate a piano, right now we have received all that we can accept for the 2018 wow, year. that's a good problem to yeah. have. So we won't actually be accepting piano donations again until 2019 around either late, late January or early February. However, you can support our organization by donating on our website at pianosforpeople.org. Okay. We had a fabulous new website that has just gone live. Mm. It's interactive and it, it tells so much about, you know, it gives a total yeah. picture of what we are and who we are. Yeah. And, and so that's a way that you can, you know, help support the organization that supports the lessons, the picking up and delivery and refurbishment of the pianos, the teacher, you know, salaries and things like that. So that's how you can support us at this time. Okay. 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 And you guys have music camps, but you're not taking applications until when? Until March. So registration for the piano camps begins online in March. Unfortunately, our piano school is so successful right now that our enrollment is absolutely full. Wow. So we're not accepting any more students. We operate like a school year. Okay. Our enrollment starts in se you know September, and then we go the whole year just like a school year. We have recitals, special programs, and events like coming up soon, we'll have something called the Piano Slam, where we have okay. a live band and, oh. you know, the kids get to participate and learn how to play with the band, you know. All right, we'll, we'll hear more about that mm -hmm. in a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Kaya and Hannah, you'll stick around. Yeah. I want to hear more about this mm -hmm. great organization. There is more with Pianos for People after this break, so stick around for more SPL Live.
back to STL Live. I'm Melanie Steen. My guests today are Kaya Baker and Hannah Harum of Pianos for People. Ladies, thank you for sticking around. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so how can someone sign up for these free piano lessons or even a piano? Is there a waiting list? Uh, uh, if you want to apply for a piano, you would go to our website if you want to apply for piano lessons. Everything initiates on the website. Um, like I said in the previous segment, we are full for the enrollment right now okay. and the piano uh, if you want to apply for a piano that applications for that will open up next month okay. so we we do have them open and closed at certain times because we fill up and we take we get the capacity that we can serve okay you know and yeah. so we have to close apps and open apps like that yeah and I was looking yeah. at your website I mean it's a great website mm -hmm. how long has it been live the new one just started I think the day before yesterday okay okay <laughs> all right so yeah. talk about you have an, an event coming up uh, real soon it's called an evening of 100 fingers Tell oh us about that's that. our annual uh, fundraising event it's okay. called 100 fingers because there we feature 10 pianists which means 10 fingers <laughs> and, so well 10 hands 100, 100 <laughs> fingers yeah and so it, it, it's a it's a really you know wonderful evening of in entertainment different types of genres different artists are spotlighted even some of our students it's a wonderful event okay and mm -hmm. then when's it being held and it's and gonna be on October the 25th at Jazz St. Louis which is formerly Jazz at the Bistro okay. and from what I know we are sold out wow. but you you can still make a donation <laughs> you guys are really popular <laughs> yeah we are really We're, popular. you know we have a strong supportive base yeah we now, do now I know you previously taught in the Riverview Garden School District mm -hmm. um, is that primarily where your kids come from or do they come from all over uh, the kids that we service by and large are in the South St. Louis mm -hmm. area because okay. that's where our main location is. Okay. However, we are growing in the Ferguson area, so we put something out there for the North County area mm -hmm. because we, we did have students traveling all the way from North County to come to our school, but oh, okay. primarily they're in the South St. Louis City area mm -hmm. in the school districts, you know, the surrounding area schools. Okay, and Hannah, you're based out of the Ferguson location. Yes, exactly, and I think yeah. one of the goals of Pianos for People is to help break down the barriers that keep people from accessing music and mm -hmm. quality music education. Exactly. Okay. And so we wanna be as accessible as we possibly can. I think that was one of the big um, motivations behind starting a location in Ferguson as well. Okay, so. well, well is there an average age, I have to ask, is there an average age of someone that's just starting out and learning to play the piano, is it easier to teach the younger ones? I would say it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the younger, but you know what, this, this year our adult enrollment has grown. We yeah, have wow. two adult beginner classes and a lot of adults have always either used to take lessons mm -hmm. or they have always wanted to learn so we provide that opportunity mm -hmm. for them. You know, but uh, the biggest enrollment is between ages, I would say, 8 to 11. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah. but you know, you can teach an old dog new tricks, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and if they're, if, you know, it's all about, we, we meet them where they're at. Exactly. There's no pressure. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. meant to be relaxing and fun. Yeah. 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 And the benefits of learning music mm -hmm. are a widespread, no matter what age you are. Mm -hmm. There's okay. benefits for everybody. Yeah. So. Okay. yeah. Well, I mean, is, how long does it take for someone to catch on and really kind of get it? You know, or, or, or do you work with people who you're like, this may not be for you. Do you ever have that? You know what? We find that every single one of our students, she say. <laughs> every single one of our students has strengths and weaknesses, and that's true for every single person. Okay. Right? Well, what I wanted to say is that the curriculum that we yeah. found that works really great, Piano mm -hmm. Safari, it produces instant results. Yes. I love it because we get the kids playing right away. They may not be exactly reading notes, yeah. but it's a method that allows us to teach them and they can start to feel the accomplishment, yeah. okay. you know. Okay, and real yeah. quickly, you, you mentioned the Piano Slam. When is that taking That place? is going to be November 2nd at our Cherokee location. A Piano Slam is basically where we have a live band and Tom Townsend, who is our um, principal founder, uh -huh. is on the piano mm -hmm. and they play, you know, like jazz, blues, pop music, and the kids get up there and he teaches them little uh, improvisational licks. Okay. And it's, it's just an organic music, family fun, good time. Does it's someone have to sign up to, to come out? No, it's free and open to the community. And so we, we also serve up light snacks and beverages. You know, it's, it's just a lot of fun. So it sounds, like, it sounds mm -hmm. like something that the community kind of really, really looks forward to. Come out to a piano slam. You'll have a good time. And what's Bring the date on that again? November the 2nd. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. And it's from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right. And you can check our website check for all website. of the events that we have. All right. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Hannah, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for having yeah. us. You bet. Visit pianosforpeople.org if you'd like more information. There's more STL Live after this, so please stick around.